really deflates the, the whole case of uh, uh, such people. Now, that is on the one hand. All of that is about the new atheism. And I dealt with how I think the Muslims might respond to that. Going to the other half of the question about the uh, uh, idea that the Prophet Muhammad never existed, which is borrowed immediately from the similar idea that Jesus Christ never existed, which was already being used against Christianity well over a century ago. In the 19th century, the idea that Jesus Christ was a purely legendary figure who had no historical basis whatsoever was brought out. And I think the historical consensus that eventually emerged was, no, Jesus Christ is actually a historical figure, even though a lot of the material about him in the Gospels is legendary. So that that was kind of the place that academia went to eventually, and the idea that Christ didn't exist became somewhat disreputable. But one has to own that in history there is an extreme materialist school which demands that there should be contemporary material proof of everything. And beyond that, there is an even worse school, which is the postmodernist school represented by the famous or infamous Hayden White, who wrote the uh, book Meta History and another book, The Tropics of Discourse, and so on, which asserted that nothing whatsoever could be known about the past, though he had to eventually own up that the Holocaust really happened when he was challenged on that particular point. Well, Holocaust, that's only 1941 to 1945, so it doesn't say anything about the really distant past. And some postmodernists have the idea that nothing whatsoever can be proven about the past. The question, though, the idea that the... Uh, so that could be even in that question. He said, how can we prove that the Prophet Muhammad existed? Well, you can't prove anything like that to the... Uh, uh, postmodernist followers of Hayden White because he doesn't even agree that the 19th century existed, let alone anything before that. I mean, he, they won't agree that anything whatsoever can be known about it, even in an age when photographs and so on exist. They wouldn't even admit that. So there is an epistemological problem about all of history, but the uh, history of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a uh, 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 all, uh, quite a distant history and one that is um, in a, uh, located in an era that was quite historically murky. And so there are a lot of historical problems dealing with that. And I think for myself as a historian, the proof is sufficient in that it is found in multiple witnesses and multiple sources that the Prophet Muhammad existed. And that uh, if it is alleged that we can't trust the Muslim tradition about the Prophet Muhammad, well, the Prophet Muhammad is already mentioned, for example, in Doctrina uh, Jacobi Nuper Baptizati, a Greek uh, uh, anti-Jewish text that was written in apparently 634, two years after Prophet Muhammad had died. His existence is attested in that, albeit not by the name. He's existed in the Armenian historian Pseudo-Sibios as early as 660. And so we have uh, certainly some early testimonies to the existence of the Prophet Muhammad that come from the other side. And the book that is very authoritative about this is um, Islam as Others Saw It um, by um, Robert Hoyland, H-O-Y-L-A-N-D. That book, coming from a student of Patricia Crona of the ultra-skeptical school, because Patricia Crona also, of course, doubted the whole early history of Sira of the Prophet, uh, really acknowledges that that position is untenable. The position that the Prophet Muhammad did not exist would mean you would have to join the legions of Hayden White and throw all ancient and medieval history in the wastebasket and not be able to talk about any of it because you would be denouncing the whole thing. You have to adopt that type of epistemological position. If, however, you have a historical epistemological position that acknowledges that uh, Julius Caesar and uh, Jesus Christ and the uh, Emperor Justinian and such well-documented people existed, you have to acknowledge the Prophet Muhammad existed also.